Today, we have a special video for you. We're gonna be comparing the Phantom 52 volt against the Phantom Stellar Edition. There we go. Hello everyone, today is a much anticipated video. We're gonna be comparing the Phantom 2.0 52 volt versus the Phantom 2.0 60 volt, also called the Stellar Edition. And make sure to watch until the end to see a real world riding test. If we look at both these models, they look very similar, pretty much identical, the frame. Why? It's because we developed such a strong platform with the Phantom 2.0 that we wanted to use the same frame for both of them. But you're gonna see the internal of the scooter is completely different. Starting from the top, we see the handlebar is pretty much the same. The only difference is the brake handle. On the Stellar Edition, you have hydraulic brake handle. Compared to the 52 volt edition, you have mechanical brake. And I think you're all familiar already with the difference. This one is being pulled by brake cable, while this one has oil inside the brake line. Also, the other difference with the brake is the hull sensor located inside. Uh, if you looked our other video we posted a couple of weeks ago, you can check the description here. We showed you that on the mechanical brake handle, you have a hull sensor that basically act as a throttle, right? We can read every position of the brake lever and apply the correct amount of regen. So you have a mix of mechanical but also region brake applied seamlessly uh, with this brake handle. Well, compared to this one, because we have an oil tank, uh, there is not the room to put a hull sensor in it like we can do on this one. So for this one, we had to fine tune the region and really base it on other criteria, but the result is still pretty much the same. It's just this one, you're gonna rely a bit more on the hydraulic brake when you press versus this one that is really a mix of mechanical, but also the region brake with the brake handle. All that being said, you still have on both of them the dedicated region brake throttle, which you use 90% of the time. If we go down, the headlight is the same, the stem is the same, the folding mechanism is the same, the whole front of the scooter is the same. Where it starts to be a little bit different are the wheels. And you can see for the 52 volt, this one we wanted something that is a bit hybrid, you know, like a, you can go uh, off road, on road, you know, a bit more versatile. So we went with tires with bigger thread. So you can see here, you know, the, the thread are deeper. Um, they stick out more of the tire and the profile of the tire is a bit rounder on the 52 volt. If we compare it to the 60 volt, you can see the tire is just completely different. It's wider, it's more flat as well, and it's completely smooth, you know? So this one, we consider it almost as a, you know, racing tire, street tire, uh, while this one is more, again, off-road and a bit more comfortable, this one on bumps, versus a 60 volt that it's really just to grip on the ground, you know, and being able to carve as well, because you're gonna be able to go much more on the profile of the tire versus this one. So this is the difference number one. Under the tire, you have the motors. The motors are also completely different uh, between those two. Uh, on the Stellar, the motors are basically double the price and it's because of the material we use inside, you know. We have uh, the Mac 3 controller inside this one versus the Mac 2. And to support all this current for the motors, you just need special material inside, you know, so you have more copper, thicker magnet, you know, better cooling solution. Uh, so the motor is just different. Uh, so they are not compatible if this is a question that you might add uh, for these scooters. Then we have the brakes as well. On this one, you can see we have our beautiful four piston hydraulic orange anodized brake uh, that look fantastic, tagged Apollo. I mentioned it before, we use a really big supplier for this. We didn't decide to make our own hydraulic brakes. It would be ridiculous. Uh, so really good brand behind it, tagged with the Apollo sauce, obviously. And we have the disc brake. Those one are the same as the 52 volt. They are 2.3 millimeter thick, which is upgraded from every disc brake scooters I think that is on the market. Usually it's 1.7. And the difference is that those one will not warp with the heat. Uh, and also during shipping, uh, it's never gonna get uh, bent, you know, or it's much harder to get bent uh, compared to a regular disc brake. We can see here a side-by-side -side comparison of me uh, pressing on the disc of the old Phantom versus this Phantom, and it's just night and day the difference. And to give you an idea, the Stellar will be uh, shipping soon, while the 52 volt, we already have hundreds of them on the market. Now, I see pretty much every complaint about scooters, and I didn't see yet a single uh, bent disc on the Phantom 2.0. That was my biggest concern about having a uh, disc brake again on our scooters versus a drum brake. So far, so good. So, we love that. It's Gucci. <laughs> right? Then, we continue. We have the suspension that is also different. 
On the 52 volt, it's a regular spring suspension that you can adjust uh, slightly uh, with the ring under versus this one. It's a DNM suspension, Taiwanese, the best one you can find, uh, and it's adjustable hydraulic suspension. So again, this one, they are rated for the same uh, weight on them, but the one that is not hydraulic feels more bouncy to me than the one that is hydraulic. I'm 185 pounds, so if you are on the heavier side, I would recommend using the hydraulic one. And if you're on the lighter side, you know, and you want something that absorbs well, uh, surprisingly, this one works really well. The size of this suspension is 125 millimeter, uh, eye to eye, it's called, right? From shaft to shaft. So you can go on Amazon and there is a wealth of options available for air suspension, hydraulic suspension, regular suspension, Every big brand of suspension do this size of suspension. So you're gonna be able to find something that fits your need. On both of these suspension, you have bearings mounted in the pivot point, so it feels butter smooth. If we continue, we have the body. It's the same on both scooters. Again, we like that all the same parts, you know, it's mean that we always gonna be in stock for spare part, which have been a challenge for us in the past. So you can see the, the reasoning behind it. We continue, we have those beautiful lights on the body, super bright, bright as the sun. Uh, and inside, it's also completely different. On the 52 volt, you have a 52 volt 27 AH battery, 21700 the cell, meaning the bigger format that is used in electric cars. Uh, really good. On this one, you have 21700, uh, and we have to use a special type of battery uh, from Samsung. And the reason we need this is the same as the motor. We ask such a big load from the battery to be able to achieve 6 kilowatt, 6.5 even kilowatt of discharge that of course you need a battery special that's able to, to push all this juice, right? Uh, this one's gonna be able to discharge all of this super quickly, and this is how it works for battery. The quicker you can discharge it and usually charge it, the more expensive it is. This is what we have on this one, the craziest battery you can find probably, uh, definitely on our entire lineup. And around this battery, you have the metal case like we showed in previous video with a dedicated on-off switch if you need to replace it or ship it. I don't know what you do with your battery, but you have a switch there so you're never gonna see a big spark when you connect it. And this is available on both configuration. In this case, between the case and the battery, it's filled with a gel that is fireproof on both these version as well. So even if there is a thermal event, you get into an accident, you know, at least you have this additional peace of mind about having something just protecting the battery, right? We really put a lot of emphasis on the safety of one of the most critical components on the scooter on both version. Behind them, you have the Mac 2 controller on the 52 volt and the Mac 3 controller on the 60 volt. What is the difference? The difference is this one's gonna be able to discharge about 1800 watt of peak current per motor, tremendous amount, versus this one's gonna be 3350 watt per motor. So basically double and you really feel it when you ride it, it's crazy. This one is more comparable to the Apollo Pro, Mac 2 controller, same type of battery, 52 volt. This one is comparable to nothing we released yet. It's just insane and you're gonna see it later on in this video, comparing them side by side acceleration wise. So Mac 3 controller so far works beautifully. Uh, and you can see with those models, when you look under, there's a heat plate on both of them. Instead of having the controller stick out directly like we did on the Apollo Pro. On the Apollo Pro in the previous Phantom, the idea was to have the controller stick out to be able to dissipate the heat faster. On this previous configuration, the controller casing was painted with pretty thick paint and we realized with thermal analysis that this is gonna block the heat dissipation. The fact of just having the paint on the casing is gonna block the heat. With these one, we decided to put the controller directly on the frame inside the body. We put thermal paste between the controller and the frame. On the outside, we're gonna go put a heat sink that is anodized. And anodized means there is no paint, it's a raw aluminum that we're able to stick a color on it, that it's not paint, it's just with, uh, I think, ionizing the part and uh, putting uh, and doing the opposite with the paint and it's basically gonna go on it. If you want a definition of anodizing, uh, this is what it is. <laughs> All that to say, that those controllers, even being more powerful, they run cooler than what we have on the Apollo City and on the Apollo Pro, which is really insane. And it speaks about just how refined our controller are, in my opinion. If we go at the back, the same thing as the front. Here you have a regular spring suspension, while this one you have a hydraulic spring suspension, fully adjustable as well. The fender are the same, the brakes are the same as the front, hydraulic for this one, mechanical for this one, and obviously the tires. On both these options, the thing that are really nice, in my opinion, are the full day mechanism extra safety latch that we added. We also have easy plug connectors 
for the motors for the front and the back so you know it's easier than ever to change your tire or to replace a motor on both these units you have premium feature and i'm glad we're able to keep it for the 52 volt and the 60 volt those features are the apple find my the nfc hidden under the quad lock the quad lock itself uh, we have well obviously the premium light the folding mechanism extra safety latch our new folding one which is rock solid so far and now you know you watch this whole video you might wonder okay but how does it ride how does it compare well we're gonna go outside and check it out hi my name is alex my name is Enzo. we'll be testing acceleration braking let's go So there you have it, our biggest launch of the year, the Phantom 2.0 52 volt versus a Stellar Edition. Let us know down in the comment below what is the next video you would like to see, or if there's other tests you would like to see side by side with them. We'll make sure to release them in the future. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.